Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Prophetess Nona Thomas, and friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be speaking this morning with Miss Faiza Mohambi of Nintendo for Africa. Nintendo for Africa is a wonderful organization for immigrants by immigrants. So I want to welcome you to the CBC Radio Show. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Well, you know, I'm, I didn't prep you on this question I'm getting ready to ask you so you can answer it just how you like and that question is, and I ask everybody this that question is is this the day that the Lord has made for you well I must say yes maybe today is my day and uh, Lord shall see us through today <laughs> yes 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 he does yes he does Thank well I want to tell you um, some great work is being done in Vintendo for Africa. Can you tell us the foundation of this organization and the need that it is supplying here in the St. Louis area? Right. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, Vintendo for Africa started because we saw the need from the immigrants. When people come from other parts of Africa, mm -hmm. they have high expectations. They want to meet the expectations by uh, attaining the American dream. Yes. But when they come over here, they are faced with so many challenges that we saw there is a need for us to open this nonprofit organization to help them and support them and walk them through their difficulties and make their life easy as uh, as easy as possible yes yes so how long has this organization uh, been founded how long how, how, what's the age of the organization it's uh, six years six years right. wow wow and so um, in looking at some of your materials that you have available for us to learn about Nintendo for Africa yeah. I know that you all are very helpful in youth and children programs and I firsthand uh, observed one of your youth programs a couple of weeks ago which was really uh, fantastic. So can you just tell us a little bit about that? Because I think that would be important for folks to know about for families. Right, right. We have so many programs for the kids. We organize friendly matches with other teams. We mentor the uh, uh, students, like we do mentorship programs for college students, mm -hmm. meant the middle school students, mm -hmm. university students, meant the college students. Mm -hmm. I mean, we engage the students to be uh, busy. We don't want them to be idle, as you know, um, uh, an idle, idle mind, mind is right. a devil's workshop. Right. So we would like them to, I mean, be able to choose a good career for themselves later mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. So we have so many programs, like taking them to the field seat, the trip, like last week we had a trip to the science center wow and they really enjoyed I'm and sure. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah and you know it's important that um the whole man be taken care of and, oh yeah you know you all are very instrumental in social and economic well-being right. and and that's important because you have to know how to function in this society all right and so um the mental physical and spiritual health all mm -hmm. of that is important tell us about how you assist families in that area Oh yes, okay, I'll tell you what. You know, um, when back in Africa, most of the women, like I'll talk about women right now. Okay. Most of the women, we don't have the facilities, like we don't have uh, maybe money mm -hmm. to go to hospitals to mm -hmm. check up for our physical health. Mm -hmm. But Vitendo for Africa here in um, St. Louis is assisting women to know their status. Like we do mammograms. Like um, last week we did uh, in St. Louis University Cancer Center, we took like uh, uh, 20 women for mammogram and seven people for um, pap smear. And next month, January 28, we'll uh -huh. be having another mammogram in uh, Christ Covenant Church. And we are looking forward to serve at least 75 uh, women. Also. Wow. So that it is will be a, a big health fair for us. And we are planning to do this um, three times a year. Wow. Yeah. So um, we are doing lots of things for women. Like also we, we organize self-help group for the women to be able to, you know, earn something for themselves and mm -hmm. do something, engage mm -hmm. themselves. And mm -hmm. yeah. 
I, I love it. You know, Nintendo for Africa was obviously um, a, a dream and a vision that was uh, that started by the founder and executive director. Uh, tell us about uh, that individual as far as, you know, speaking for him and just saying, you know, how he felt he needed to do this. Uh, I'll tell you, Geoffrey, his name is Geoffrey Soyantet. Mm -hmm. This guy is... I, I don't even have words to ex, uh, to explain who he is, but I'll tell you from my knowledge, the mm -hmm. little uh, time that I've been together with him, mm -hmm. this guy is somebody else. I don't know where he came from, but <laughs> <laughs> he's coming from somewhere. I mean, that place is, you know, you. I mean, we all have to go there. We have to find out from him where he came from. <laughs> 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 well, we'll just say he's a blessing for he God. He's a blessing. He's a blessing from God. The people in uh, St. Louis mm -hmm. community, mm -hmm. they uh, they love him. I mean, mm -hmm. they listen to him. He's he's a man of the people. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And I think that's so important uh, because when I, I not just uh, immigrants coming from Africa, anyone coming from another country to another country, yeah. you know, you're like, what do we do? Where do we go? Uh, you know, where is a safe place to go? A safe haven? Yeah. And so what has been done for immigrants from Africa to come here is just wonderful. And Mr. Joffrey, also an immigrant, he knows, he's first-hand knowledge, so he's going through experiences to help people. Am I right? Right, right. He has all the information you need. Mm -hmm. Coming from Ghana, whether you're coming from Sierra Leone, Congo, Kenya, wherever, mm -hmm. African countries, mm -hmm. you can get all the help you need in Vitendo for Africa. I love it. Give yeah. us your contact information. There may be people who are listening right now. Um, uh, they may need your services. They may know of someone who needs the services in their church, in their business. Tell us how we can reach you. Yeah, we are in Cargo Bay, Cargo Bay building, and our address is 7220 North Lindbergh Boulevard, and our office is Suit 270. Mm -hmm. Our website is www.vitendoforafrica.org or you can see us also or you can like our page in Facebook and we you can find us on the uh, uh, website as well. Wonderful, wonderful. One of the things that I notice in, in your um, information on what you provide to individuals and families is assistance with the citizenship process because it is a process. It is. And I have recently known someone who, you know, thought it was challenging because they were doing it on their own. It is challenging, yeah. For, for people who doesn't know, I mean, coming from Africa, you don't know anyone here. Vitendo for Africa is right here to connect you to the best people. We will help you fast when you come in. We will help you to get a driving license. We will help you to file your your your, your citizenship. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't need to worry. You have to just, you know, come to Vitendo office and you'll get it all. I love it. Can yeah. you tell us what does uh, Vitendo, is there a special meaning for that word? Yes, uh, it means action in Swahili. That is, Vitendo is a, a, a Swahili word which means actions. I love it. We, look, we can use that word in America, too. Action. <laughs> Move. Get to doing something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. love it. So you've been a part of this organization, and, um, you know, you have firsthand seeing the impact of the work, the yeah. impact of the resources. And can you just explain how that feels when you know you have that kind of support? You know, I'll tell you, um, when I, I joined Vitendo for Africa, I felt that um, I'm part of the team because I feel that I was welcomed very well by the people. The people in the community trust me, and that is the work of Joffrey as well mm -hmm. and my first assignment was in the we had a dinner and we did the dinner in um, St. Louis Community Center mm -hmm. and it was awesome and we enjoyed and you know I never went outside to I mean be with lots of people outside but mm -hmm. my uh, engagement on that day made me love it and I love this show for real. Wow. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah, I can tell. And I believe that you have to be passionate. You have to love people. You have to be concerned about people right. to do what you do. Oh, yes. Um, in closing, we're just about finished. Is mm -hmm. there anything else that we haven't covered that you'd like to say this morning? 
Oh yes, I'll say that uh, we we are very very um, um, uh, supportive uh, organization. I want people out there, be it a Muslim, a Christian, whoever it is, and wants to get any help, they can visit us at Vitendo for Africa. Thank you so much, Nona. You've been so <laughs> welcoming today. Well, I tell you, it's it's a blessing. It's a blessing. You know, when we talk about something that has such an impact on so many people, I want to be a part of it. So I thank you so much for being a part of the CBC radio show, Miss Faiza Mahambi. And man, I said that right. Look at me. <laughs> and also, we want to thank the founder and the executive director of Nintendo for Africa, Mr. Geoffrey Soyantet. There you go. There you go. All right. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Thank you. Thank you. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break. Stay.